Hello everyone, my name is Ninja Derpfire and welcome to Indie Game Slice Episode 3, the show all about indie games. It's a bird, it's a plane, it's a spotlight. City of Steam is a browser-based, free-to-play online RPG set in an industrial world poised to rediscover mythic forces that shaped its history. It's being created using the Unity engine and so far it looks amazingly detailed for a browser-based game. This could certainly cause people to question whether this is legitimately what the game will look like. The landscape screenshots are certainly the most eye-catching, and the entire game likely won't have that high quality in the browser. Having said that, some of the in-game screenshots of actual gameplay do show a more realistic outlook on the actual game and what we can expect to see once we actually play it. So far we know about four classes, the Arcanist, the Gunner, the Warder, and the Channeler. There are nine races listed on the game's website, so there should be a large amount of customization, even if some of them are very similar to each other in appearance. Most of the environments seem to be heavily inspired by steampunk and the industrial era. There have been keys handed out for a closed alpha sneak peek at the game, and there'll be more in the future. You can find all sorts of previews and developer vlogs on their YouTube channel, there is a link in the description below. Bye bye! Dev Sneak Peek Cortex Command has released its final test build. That is to say that the next version released will be 1.0 and considered a full version of the game. It has been 11 and a half years since the Retro Terrain engine, used for Cortex Command, was first conceived. Everything in the game is destructible. Plants, rocks, dirt, robots, everything. You can end up with a robot that has no legs, just a little stumpy body clutching a light machine gun, mowing down mindless bomb carrying zombies. Shotguns, rocket launchers, grenade launchers, SMGs, assault rifles and sniper rifles add a fantastic arsenal to destroy your enemy with. Mods are available from the community and will certainly see the lifespan of the game extend much longer. You can purchase it now and receive all future versions. Starforge has been shown to us in a demo video, along with its first playable version. It's a game about surviving on an alien planet. You can do this alone or with friends in co-op. It features fully procedural infinite voxel terrain. You can build anything you want all across the world. There will be an RPG element to the game with leveling up and abilities and skills. The developers think they have created the world's first procedural 3D tile set system. You can see a player can create structures at their will using different blocks. It certainly seems like Minecraft in a modern graphical engine. You can shape the land how you want using different tools. Resources will be important and the player will collect them to survive and create their own bases. It has a physics driven movement system which means your body reacts to every impact as it would in real life. Some of this footage is absolutely amazing. There is a real-time atmosphere, which means you can either fly or build into space at any time with no loading screens. Space is also infinite. The potential to create a realistic digital world for people to go crazy in is mind-blowing. Standing at the top of the world, creating your own structures, and then leaping off them straight back down to Earth. This is definitely a game to watch, and you can play a very early alpha version of it. Just remember that it is nowhere near a finished game. A video of some very early gameplay of a game called Chroma has gained some attention. On first glance, it looks like just another indie platformer. However, in the video you will see at a certain point, the player changes to a dark variant of himself, as if he's jumping out of his own body and moving around. The cool thing about this dark form is that, with the game's lighting, the shadows now turn into their own platforms. So puzzles in the game are based around the idea that you need to think of a way to use your shadows to find a way out. This is a very smart idea, and while the developer says it's very early in development, this looks like a great game mechanic to set it apart from other platformers. Gameplay innovation is always great to see. So that brings us to the end of Indie Game Slice Episode 3 for the 7th of June 2012. I want to thank everyone for watching. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. I hope you check out some of these games because they're really interesting ideas, and especially Starforge. I mean, just that world is... Oh, it's going to be crazy to be able to play that with a whole bunch of friends and just... Oh. My name is Ninja Derpifier. See you guys next time.